and welcome to another Pokemon card video. Today is week one of the new season of the Major League Pack Battles. This is actually the second season that I've been a part of, but it's the third season overall. I wasn't a part of the first one, so I competed in the second season. I believe it was at the start of the year, and I got beat pretty bad on that. So hopefully we'll do better on season three right here. So I'm going to go ahead and run through all the rules right here of how this is all going to work. Then we'll go ahead and open this and see how I do. Now my opponent for this one is going to be super duper Danny. She is awesome. Definitely go check out her video as well to see who wins. I'll have a link to her channel down below, but uh, eventually down the, uh, down the line I'll try to add the direct link to her video as well. It's just I'm going to be out of the house for a while while this is uploading, so I won't be able to do that right away. But anyways, let me go ahead and run through the rules. So what we do, I kind of did this just last week. I did a pack battle actually, but what we're going to do is we're going to open these three packs right here and we're going to pull a bunch of cards. And depending on what we pull, we get different amounts of points. So if we get a reverse holo rare, that's worth one point. A holographic is two points. This set does happen to have break cards. Breaks are worth three points. Regular EXs, including Megas, as long as they're not full arts, also three points. Full arts are four points, and secret rares are five points. Now there's one other rule, which is a competitive pick. With that, we get to choose one card, and I have to write it down on this piece of paper right here, and we choose one card. If we happen to pull that, we also get additional points, and depending on how rare the card is we pick, we'll potentially get a lot. So if I pick a common, I'll get one point. If I pick an uncommon, two. Rare is three. Uh, I think EX is four. I don't know. I'm going to pick an uncommon, so the other points don't matter. I think secret rare goes all the way up to seven, but you have to not just get the secret rare. You have to get the exact secret rare you're looking for. So I'm going to be going with an uncommon, so if I pull it, I'll get two extra points. Now there's one thing I want to mention. There's a new rule in this season, and don't worry guys, I'm not going to go through this whole uh, rule set for every video, just this first one, just so we're all on the same page. But there's a new rule in this season, and I'm not, I'm not a part of the team who decides these rules, I'm just participating, and I'm about to critique some stuff, so sorry guys who run this, and I really hope you guys still invite me back for season 4 if there is one. But I gotta say, the new rule is really dumb, and I will not be pay uh, taking part in that rule. So what it is, if you go and look at this video's thumbnail, in the middle you'll either see an at symbol or a versus symbol. And there's going to be eight matches that we partake in, so every single week is going to be a little bit different there. Now, throughout the eight weeks, I'll, I'll have four at symbols and four versus symbols. What do those symbols mean? If I've got the at symbol in my video, then I get to choose one competitive pick, and my opponent's going to have the VS, so they get to choose two competitive picks. So because of this rule, I am at an inherent disadvantage in this match, and I think that is really silly to have that kind of rule in place. So next week, it'll actually be a VS, so I'll get to choose two competitive picks if I want, but I'm going to go ahead and this right now guys I will not be taking part in this rule so even when I have the option to choose two competitive picks I will always only choose one so that way I'm always at an even playing field with my opponents when I should have the advantage now my opponents can still choose to use the extra competitive pick when it's their turn if you guys want to play along and also only choose one against me I think that would be awesome. I think that'd make it a lot more fair, but you know, I can't stop you guys. If you want to go for two competitive picks, I totally understand. Anyways, let's go ahead and actually open this guy. This is a Steam Siege Blister Pack as well, and be I should probably write down my competitive pick before we get into it, just so there's no, uh, no accusations of cheating or anything. So let's go ahead and zoom down. I've got my gosh dang neon pink highlighter, so I hope it shows up decently well, but I'm going to go for number 10. Terrible handwriting, by the way, but this is going to be a... Nuzleaf. So if we get this guy, it's going to be worth uh, two extra points. If I get a bunch of them, then I could get a bunch of extra points. And the reason I'm going for Nuzleaf is that I've been finding myself pulling a lot. You can't really see it, but it's back there. Promise I'm not cheating, guys. Anyways, let's go ahead and actually get into this. I am going to look at the promo card real quick because it is a new blister pack for the channel. This is why I didn't uh, open up the Steam Cheese blister packs before on this channel is because, well, we're going to do them for this. If I could actually get the pack open, that would be fantastic. Ah, oh, crud. I'm not going to edit here. Normally I would edit when I have trouble opening these things, but I just want to make sure things are as fair as possible, so I'm not going to do any edits here. So there's one, two, and three packs. Let's go ahead and take a close-up of this promo card right here, which is an Azelf. Gosh dang, unfortunately not a Pukesy, but still looking really awesome. That is promo number 142. And let's also take a look at the coin over here. Oh, there we go. And let's take a look. I think this is a Rayquaza. Yeah, it is. Look at that crud. Alrighty. Anyways, let's get to the actual pack. Sorry for taking so long, uh, but 
Well, I just wanted to go over all the different rules and all that, and hopefully you guys don't think I'm a jerk for not using the rule. I just think it'd be more fun if it's more fair here. So anyways, I'm just gonna- I'm not gonna card trick this or anything, and I'll go ahead and give the codes away in these videos as well. So let's go see what we got! The commons, there's no points I can possibly earn from those, so let's get through those. We've also got- oh, let's go all the way through these. Uh, we've got a Reverse Hollow Uncommon, so that is not worth no points. We also have a Primeape Rare, worth zero points, and our last cards- oh wait, we've got the Uncommons here. Maybe I will card trick these just to make it more- make more sense, because I've been- I've been doing it for so long. But we got Rapidash, Ambipom, and Hallucha. So for me, that is a zero point pack. Did not get that Nuzleaf that I was looking for. I should also mention there are some new rules for tie breaks. Back in the uh, first season, there was lots of ties. This season, we'll have no ties. I'll go into that if we happen to get a tie, how that actually is calculated, but uh, don't worry about that for now. So here we've got a Litleo, Sneasel, there's Yanma. I should have picked Yanma, gosh dang it, but Yanma would have been only worth one point. We've got an Oshawott common worth zero, and we've got, okay, we got a Kling Klang holographic, so that's going to be worth two points right there. So we are on the board with two points. We also have a Duat. Oh, I was supposed to card trick that. We got a Zumaril, and we got a Persian. So once again, not getting that Nuzleaf that I'm looking for. So there's our two points from Kling Kling. Better than zero, I got to admit, better than zero. Of course, the Azelf promo is not going to count for anything. We're just using blister packs, I don't know, because reasons. It makes it convenient if you're doing three packs per video. It makes it a pretty convenient way to do that. So there's the code card. Let me card trick this one here, and let's get to it. We have an Azumarill. We have Lampid. Will I get one Nuzleaf? I will not. I could have got four points if I just chose Azumarill or Ambipom. I got two of each of those. Dang it, that was a missed opportunity. We also got a Rufflet, Clauncher, Meowth, Hopip, and Nosepass. Our reverse holographic is a Litleo worth zero points. And our last card is a Cobalion. So our only card out of three packs worth any points is a Kling Clang. So we got two points. Go check out Super Duper Danny's video, see how many points she got, and we'll see who wins. I did terrible last season. This season might be the same too. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to anyone from Super Duper Danny's audience as well. I swear I don't normally rant as much as I did in this one. Anyways, I will see you guys on, I believe Sunday is my next Major League Pack Battle video, and I'll see you guys again on Wednesday for just regular openings and all that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.